Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier Suvira. My name is Jimmy Shrez and we're continuing with the Beginner's Guide Project Zero. This uh, this is episode 5. As always, I'm going to leave socials down below in the description. Uh, I'm also going to leave a link to my membership if you want to support me on the YouTube. And uh, yeah, we're going to get straight into the gameplay. As always, we're going to go... Yes, we're gonna go get some levels. I'll be explaining stuff uh, while I'm what I'm doing, and uh, yeah, just you know, think of this. I'm uh, experiencing everything as you guys, but I have a lot of game knowledge. Simple as that. So I have a lot of level fifty plus max characters. So, okay, I'm gonna start this. I'll start some music as well. This one's gonna be too loud. There we go. Wait, solo. Right, let's do this. Forgot to do some things. Uh, turn that off. And that should be fine. Oh, that's so bright, in my opinion. Here we are. Okay, where we left off? We left off at Haverbrook. Mm, okay. Envelopes, we can get some red envelopes there. There, oof. No, we cannot do that. But we can do that. Okay, we are gonna go have fuel. Yeah, we can go to the elbow. We're gonna do that. We're also gonna do the mission again to get that juicy XP, make use of that lunar event while we can to get some food as well. Okay, uh, what else we need? Need some peanut butter. Juice. Go. Okay, never mind. So we need some painkillers for today. It's not expensive. And we need some 9mm rifle rounds. Try to get the cheapest one, like so we don't pay too much. There we go. We need more than that, and we're heading to the spot. Do we have any XP gear? Let's check. We have a bunch of books actually. It's it's not better bad time to use it now. This gives XP. We'll take that. No. So I will equip that before we do the mission. Okay, let's do these guys. Family residency is located still there. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure some of you will be like, ah, oh, you know, you killed this series, what are you doing? I'm just... Uh, the progress is just a bit fast. I'm just using Lunar Event a bit, you know. Because uh, the game begins at, like, level 25, 30. That's, like, the, where the game begins. Like, you'd be just watching me doing missions all uh, and over again. And nothing, uh, nothing spectacular and doing purple zones. So, like this, I'm just, you know... I, we just fast forward, pretty much. Which I think is uh, much better. Because I'll still be doing missions and you'll see bunch of missions in the future okay there we go oh, I forgot to equip my bed and there we go 24 I'll take that awesome and we have 30. Let's go, guys. We can craft, uh, craft the weapon or something. Hmm, what should we go for? We either go for weapon. We gotta get these first. Uh, okay, what are we gonna level? Best learner for sure. Sprinter. Got those. Now we can go for another marksman and reloading. Okay. 
And Headhunter, let's go. A quick shot one. We shoot a bit faster than usually. Okay. I'll take that. gonna do this purple zone and then we're gonna go back and craft what we can let's see first what we can craft uh, most likely i'll go for some kind of a weapon guys i'm pretty confident in that actually the question is which one good question because there is no pistol you know like and i really wanted to go for the pistol build this character but since there is no pistol to craft, I think I'll skip. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see by, by the end, once we get to low 50, like, what type of weapons we get. That's, that's the best thing to do. We're definitely not going for the SMGs or assault rifles. Or the auto shotguns, that's, that's like your big no. Like, it's either gonna be rifle, shotgun, or pistol. Like, normal shotgun. Hope the music is not too loud. Almost there. We are. The only issue is slow attack speed. This pistol, it's so much easier. Okay. And we did it. There we go. Awesome. Time to go back. gonna go get to some bossing we're gonna be looting small houses and be killing some bosses uh i'll introduce you to some of the bosses if you do not know them most most likely if you are watching this you don't know these bosses but we are gonna try to fight fingers choir mother and we'll see maybe a tangible and titan i'm not 100 sure not guarantee i cannot guarantee i forgot like what's the required uh what was the required like uh print speed and jog speed like and such like to fight uh, tendril I, I really don't remember for, for the lower level ones i know for the level 50 like how much you need to put about for the lower one i cannot remember But yeah, uh, as I mentioned, if you are playing right now Lunar Event, make sure you craft some of these weapons, like, like uh, you know, just one, like the one you're gonna de you decide you're gonna use. Th that's what I meant. I think the best pick for me is gonna be shotgun, most likely. That's what I think. I need to check the ammo prices first. The issue with revival is you need the. Uh, I don't have quick shot, level 5, and I have a rifle expert, so it's gonna be really hard. Well, shotgun, you don't need to hit all headshots all the time, you can go for the body shots as well. That's why shotguns are really good. Well, rifles currently, in my opinion, they're like, they're a decent weapon because the ammo is cheap, but the issue itself is you just like. 
really need to be good with the aiming and uh you know you must have the quick shot uh marksman five and the rifle expert which we are not going for any weapon weapon expert skill currently so there's a there's a thing currently at 26k okay that's not bad The next thing we're gonna craft probably is gonna be uh boots i would say or legs maybe actually would be good to craft legs yeah definitely and you know what we need to use some of these books let's use them currently dead okay answer that answer that should have not bodies is what it is um, okay okay some xp okay out of one Okay, now we have to listen to this one. We can drop all of these, we don't need them. Okay, 85. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, no leg item. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we're going for the shotgun here, guys. Shotgun is jog speed. Oh, no. Uh, I guess we'll do. Wait, 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 let's see, guys. A stack is 900. 20 gauges. Oh, yeah, we're going for 20 gauge for sure. Yeah, there, there's no doubt about it. Okay. Come on, fingers crossed. We get the good uh, stats. Come on. More game. Viruses that make us sick target parts of our bodies and attack them, leaving us. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh wait, guys, I was not paying attention. It was body damage. Uh, I mean, I guess they'll still do fine. Yeah. Uh, they'll do fine. They'll do fine for sure. Okay. Answer that. So that well, I'll keep that on me. I get that. We should carry some of these for sure. Because we are about to fight the bosses. Don't need that many magnum rounds, that's for sure. Okay, let's do this as I would usually this. Goes here. This goes here. It should not be that bad. Yeah, it's fine. We do this. Um, okay, got a pistol here. I need to get some ammo for sure. Engage. That should be enough. Kill some bosses. Yeah, that's definitely more than enough. Let's get these cheap ones. And we'll buy some fuel. And we're going back to Haverbrook. Text. So just one is more than enough. Right, let's do this. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have waited to see what the purples are gonna be like. 
because he's gonna be in like what 20 seconds it's fine i'm also gonna take the missions in the heavy brook hospital so the way you can do it is if you want to take the missions you just go to the notice board and it's going to take all the missions in, inside of this building so you go here and you go start all missions also what you can do you can hand in all the missions that you've done at the notice board so you don't gotta search for the npcs right what we have uh okay Let's see what we can do here while we're on the way i kill some bosses that's what uh, one is asking for should have more than enough you know what i'm gonna store the pistol for now let's get it all right so we have we have mission there and we have missions up there to the top which i don't think it's worth going Oh, look at that okay we're actually gonna go there because of the purple zone we can do this one at the end when we're returning i guess what right, let's first focus on the on the bossing guys as said okay, we have all 20s so we're gonna go this way i'm gonna go this row Only issue is I didn't get the energy drink, so there might be an issue. I'll we'll try to figure it out. Might find some on the way. Right, here we go. So when you watch something, you want to do this type of houses. So remember the way this house uh, household is looking. Okay, got him. Usually it's not worth spending uh loading times are quite long. It's usually not worth spending uh shooting with a shotgun. I do not advise you to do so. But because the ammo is so cheap currently, no, I can do so. I'll I'll make my cash back easily. Nice iron key as well. So those uh when you find the iron key, that means you have found the key to the locked room instead of this uh building where we at or any kind of a building when you find the key uh behind the door you have a chance of getting a really good uh, item it's usually gonna be like superior rare it can happen to be a liter or a unique item but majority of times it's it's like superior rare Okay. So that it as well. So the top there is going to be a lock to nice fun the, the iced coffee that's exactly what we need. So the top we're going to find the um Log door. Awesome, that's a lot of cash. So, total, we are currently at what? We have. We have three movement speed, so it's 13 jog speed, and we have 40 spin speed in total. Okay, that's awesome. Should be more than enough for Tendril, I guess. Okay, no boss here, guys. Just gonna go for this door and get out. There is a chance that it's on the third floor. Usually I do not check, but I'll check really fast here. It's most likely gonna be the attic. Okay, would not take that. It's a superior. With that. See, it's most likely attic. Yep. Got it. Since we are already up here. Could probably drop that taking just taking my space so 
uh, also I what I forgot to mention guys this is very important so the households like these residences households apartments however you want to call this they have 50% to have a boss room Ros uh, restaurants and markets 100% you'll always find the boss there now watch there's gonna be a boss here there you go you see those uh, red uh, three question marks there is a boss inside what do we get here Oh, it's bad. Okay, it's just a book. Get that. Use it. And also, what you can do, guys. So you saw, like, how I... When I was looting, I was clicking left click. So when you're looting, if you're not getting too far away from the loot spot, you can still loot by holding E and uh, melee the enemy. Okay, that's a finger head. And he's on fire. And deal like that. So when you're fighting, try to deal like the enemies. When you're fighting the uh, inside of the boss room, because they can be quite hard to deal with, especially in the high level zones. This is easy here, but still, I'm gonna do it. Okay, now, thing with fingerhead. You don't want to look it into his eyes, guys. Look what is gonna happen. Okay, you see that. He did quite a lot of damage to us. Look at that. We lost like... How much? 58 HP by the, uh, by that. So, and we also got... Uh, panic thing. I'm gonna use that. Sub that. Okay, now, how you wanna fight him is... You can either go delag him, shoot one leg. So you focus on the one leg. Or, you do this. Aim at his knees. Bang. That's how you can fight him. Just flick into his head like that. And just repeat the process. In the high level zones, he'll be running, so it's much harder there. And if he gets too close to you, you can just dodge. Have in mind, if you do not have any dodge cooldown, it's gonna take 10 uh, seconds for your dodge cooldown. Uh, for your dodge to come back. And keep repeating the process. Don't have any mutated, so it takes quite some time to kill this guy. Plus, he's on fire. He has the thousand HP, so yeah, takes quite quite many shots. But the amount of XP we get is worth it. Now, because we kill the boss, you always wanna. Okay, nice. We got very sledgehammer. Okay, that's not bad. That's good scrap. So now, what you want to pay attention to is the second loot spot. As you can see, it's right there. People usually think when they kill the boss, that there is no, you know, they, they, they think it's just one loot spot. But there's actually two loot spots. The second loot spot, you can get lucky and you can get some good items. Sometimes you can get some good upgrade or something. Uh, we'll skip that. We'll leave that here. You can find some uh, upgrade attachments, you know, like and such things. So it can be quite, quite good. Or you can find some ammo. And you might find the ammo for the weapon that you're using. So it's, it's quite quite a good thing. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep those envelopes for now. Here we go. Uh, oh, there it is. My bad. Uh, there's a boss here. Another finger head. This one seems to be normal. No mutations. Nope. Kill the child zombies. So, yeah. Uh, what I advise is kill the child zombies, D leg the other ones. Okay. Oh, that's a neon zombie. Kill like this guy. There you go. So, he's uh, gonna have 250 HP. So, we'll kill him quite fast, guys, compared to the other one. And we will not get as much as XP as well. And there we go. Oh, we got the XP and that's all that matters. 
And also what I forgot to mention, I don't know if I... I'm pretty sure I didn't mention that. You can buy the gold membership in this game, which gives you like X find a uh, find unique, which is like really like uh, it's RNG. It's like it's very low, like it's super low chance to find the uh, unique items. The base is just so low. You can uh, get the gold membership, which will give you find unique chance, find elite chance. I think it's find ammo or no, find ammo quantity, find fuel quantity, 100% XP gain, and what is what else? A fifty percent inventory capacity, which you know can uh, help you quite a lot with leveling. So this is pretty much like how we're playing. Is like think of this as we're having gold membership pretty much. That's that's how it is. And it's it's like quite cheap. I think it's like something like ten bucks a month, something like that. Yeah, okay, there we go. Another mission here, which we'll take for sure. Okay, we'll take that. We can sell that. Not much, but. Oh, not yet, not yet. I don't, I don't want to give my antibiotics to her. I have only one. Right, let's see what it's here. What boss? And that's choir. But also, you can do the trick, guys. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. So you can kill the you can kill the zombies, and you can uh, re-enter the room. Once you kill the zombies, the room is gonna be empty. If you want to do so, you can do that as well. This guy. Hey, you don't want to be too close to him because uh, his scream is uh, quite powerful and is quite long uh, range. So, yeah, just don't get too close to him. Aim for those headshots. So he has a uh, thousand HP as well as the finger head that we were fighting that was on fire. Wait for the crosshair to get to the minimum point, so you do not miss too many shots. Keep that distance. And there we go. 10 more K guys of XP and at the level. This guy. But yeah, for all of you who are new, gold membership is highly advised because the amount of grind uh, that you'll skip with that is, you know, insane. It, it really helps a ton. So, better than what I have sprint speed, sprint duration, sprint cooldown, kick stun. Uh, I don't think so. Five. Mission ten. This speed screen's cool down. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of better because of the dodge cooldown. So I'll take that. And key cooldown. So I guess it's an upgrade. More spin speed as well. Oh yeah, look at that. Elite, finally. An upgrade mutated. Okay, that's not bad. That's a stat stick for us right here. Can use that when we're fighting uh, bosses. So stat stick is your secondary item that has like mutated, like damage stats that are, they do not have in the name weapon. Example, you see this Gravedigger has weapon body damage, weapon attack speed. That means those stats are only applying to those to that weapon. But if he has like stats like mutated, walk speed, sprint speed, I don't know, jog speed, incoming damage, HP, that's a stat stick. That's a global set and applies to our whole character. Uh, okay. I'll use this just in case, you never know. Right. I I'm pretty confident actually if we see Tendril, we're gonna skip that. Because our HP is way too low. Fighter.
All right. See what we have here. M762, nice, it's a good amount of cash. Um, I remember what's that for, but I'll take that. And also, there is an, another trick. I don't know if I shared that with you guys. So, how do you know if there is a key in the, you know, where you were yet? Sorry, like, how do you know if the key is uh, in the room that you entered? Like, if you do not find the key here, it's in one of those rooms here, right? If the locked door is upstairs, okay? So, uh, if you go into one of these rooms and you do not see two loot spots, the key is not there. Like, you will not find the key at this, uh, the if, if it's only one loot spot. So, you, you see here, like, it's only one loot spot. We're not going to find the key here. I can guarantee you that. These are the puzzles that you can do as well if you want. Uh, I advise you to... Oh, oh my god, I did the stake. It's on the wrong side. Okay. Pull this guy here. And there we go. Here we found... Okay, that's armor. We can scrap that. So, do, that's one uh, type of the puzzles we did right now. There's multiple puzzles and... If you need a guide for it, you can find it on the official Discord of Death Frontier 2. Okay, hands on me. So, you see, there's two loot spots. I, I already know we're gonna find the key. Like, I already know that the key is uh, inside, of, uh, inside of this room right here. So, there we go. So, that's a really useful trick. That, uh, you know, can save you some time if you're going for the locked doors. Maybe that... And discard that. Okay, and there we go. Let's cross to get something good. And oh, that's actually it's actually not that bad. Oh wait, never mind. We have better ones. Holy moly! Like the spin speed and spin duration is uh. The spin speed is better in this one, but you have dodge cooldown, which I think I value more. I'll, I'll take the dodge cooldown. And okay, no boss from here as well. That's that's the issue with those type of houses, though. Um, we'll drop that. Yeah, we'll drop that. I remember right we need that for a survivor stew that's why i took the item okay, let's check upstairs probably attic as well okay it's not attic but no uh no boss room in this uh house oh nice okay it's good amount of cash drop that We loot anything down here? Was there any loot? I'm gonna go for this door. And whiskey, skip that. So whiskey is uh, good for the like uh, melee and uh, chainsaw characters because it gives you like minus incoming damage, but you trade, you lose accuracy. But you do not care about accuracy on the. On the uh, melee and uh, chainsaw characters. Um, I'll leave that for now. No space. And let's see here. What do we get? So so many uh, books. Right, let's see. Okay, we know we have bosses here as these are restaurants and markets. So there you go. That's a restaurant. Mm, 
No space, we'll leave it here. Cheap ammo anyways. Can we drop anything? No. And we are fighting another choir, I'll tell you that. This one, limitations, so 250 HP. Need to deal with. Always kill child zombies, cause they're uh, really annoying and yeah, can get you killed. And also, what I forgot to mention, that you can dodge choir screen, guys. If you time me right, you'll be able to dodge it. Let me show you. Okay, let's wait for his scream. There we go. If uh, I didn't dodge, I would get hit by that scream because we were quite close. And he's down. Really close to leveling up, I think. Yeah, 4k. So one more boss. Fingers crossed that we get something good. Come on, game. And... No. That's it dead. Don't forget to check for the second loot spot. There you go. It's right here. It's sometimes very hard to see those loot spots. But... You know, it depends on which uh, type of graphic settings you're using as well. The one I'm using right now, I do not advise you to do so, because it's really hard to see anything in the game. Uh, I advise you to have just, like, the type of settings you just want to have is, like, uh, lighting, and, like, you can have, if you want, color filter, contrast filter, if you want. I do not advise you, actually, sorry, sorry I do not advise contrast uh, filter, because that makes the game uh, darker. So I advise you to have lighting, definitely, and the rest is up to you. Like, that's, that's like what you really need for the game to look kind of a little bit better. And the rest is like up to you completely. Yeah, another mission. Okay. We were about to see what boss is here. I'll leave this here. All right. Fingers cross it's not a tangible or a titan or something like that. And it's a spitter. Nice. Let's go. Different boss. Watch that. Oh. So. Ew. That was close. If you get hit by the spit, that's really bad. You'll get uh, burns, which, which means you take more damage. I can't remember, is it 50% or 100% more damage that you take? I believe it's 50%. It's quite a lot. I don't remember the amount of HP she has. If I, if I remember correctly, she doesn't have any mutations, so it should be 400. Maybe 5. And also, what it can do... As you can see, you can dodge, but look at this. Before she shoots her things, you shoot her in the face or in the body. And you can stop her animation. It was kind of late, but watch. Okay, still late a bit. There you go. It was perfect one. Another one. There you go. My finger. Oh, um, I got the worm attacking me. There we go. And level up. Awesome. We're going for quick shot 100%. Uh, where is it? There we go. I'll help a lot. It's better already. Much faster saving speed. Okay. Don't believe that. And second wood spot. What do we get? Humans, when crafting, no, that's a no. Okay, we fought some bosses, all of that, and we're going back to the outpost. We're gonna turn on, uh, we're gonna turn in the mission that we have. She's just kill bosses, I think. And yeah, there we go, and something else. Oh, antibiotics. Yeah, we're gonna do that for sure. It's a free XP right there. Okay.
so yeah, I don't want to keep you waiting, guys. Uh, I'm just going to go inside here and uh, sell some items. I hope this episode was helpful and you learned something. As is always, I'm going to leave as I said, socials down below in the, the, the description. Oh, we got Stalker, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see him. We just escaped him. But anyways, down in the description, I'll leave my socials. I'm going to leave my membership if you want to support me on YouTube. Uh, I'll leave a link down below so you can click and see the prices if you want to support. And uh, yeah, we're going to end it here pretty much. I'm just going to sell some things so you can see what's happening. Uh, how much is that going for? It's like... Sell it for quite cheap. 100. Okay. How much can we sell that for? I'll go 3k. Um, okay, I'll go 2.2 so we can sell fast. So 50. Time to scrap these. Scrap that as well. 2.2k. Oh no, it had mutated. Ah, it is what it is. I did the sick. Uh, scrap that as well. Keep that. How much is it? 200. Okay, I need to check. Scrap that. Now I need to check how much. What, what do we need for survival steel? Sorry. It's workbench. This one. Okay, it is. Beans. Okay, I see. It's not this one, we don't need that. But we need that and we need water. Awesome. Extra state sold. To that. And oh, I didn't put 12 gauge selling. That's a good amount of cash. How much is it? Yeah, that's a good cash. Like 1k right there. Anyways. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in another video of the Frontier 2. Till next guy. Till next time guys. Peace, love you all.